Hi gang, here's my method of making book cards and spine labels. Of course I'm using LibreOffice in, within Linux. I just open that up, go to Recent Documents and Book Card. And what I have is a format set up for a 3x5 card. And it's centered on the page. And I have a table, single cell table up here, and a table down here. Of course, it's uh, two columns and a bunch of rows. Over here, I have the information that we get from a great library in our emails. I just cut and paste all this into the book card. Wow, this is exciting. Hey, go get your popcorn. This movie gets even better. This movie is just great. All right. Um, okay, that's it for a book card. You just print it. And I have it set up as a file to print to a particular desktop laser printer I have. You can buy them for our, oh, under, under $100 now, or $100 and change and it does the uh, job quite well. Now sometimes they don't come out as straight as I would like out of the printer. I may have to do another one or whatever way they come out I'm sure a blind man would love to see it. I've stopped putting book pockets in the binders. These are so inexpensive and easy to make. I just punch a hole in the bottom and place it into the binder that way. Uh, you can buy these cards of course at the dollar store for well surprisingly a dollar. Oh, now spine labels. Now you gotta remember I come from an academic library background where we have books that have been around for ages and ages on the shelves and they've all got dozens of different font styles and label styles across one shelf. And um, I know some of you like to keep all your labels looking the same. I never uh, got into that. But anyway, um, this is a Avery label page, eight and a half by 11. It's um, 5163 or 8163. Uh, you can buy them at Staples real cheap. Uh, they're two inches by four inches. There's your two, there's your four. And again, it's just a matter of cut and paste. Get rid of that. And my identifier. And because I have to cut these by hand, I do two for each book. Sometimes my hand is steady and straight, some days not so much. You can even uh, create custom labels for your library. You know, you might want to have something like this. Yeah, don't even think about removing this book from the library. You know the books that might need that kind of a label you know your patrons that need to see that kind of a label. Now, when you print these labels out, you just rip off the entire section here off the page and of course cut by hand. You don't have to worry about completing the full page. Uh, you can come back later and then work on this set of labels to do some more books and then feed the uh, page through the printer again. Doesn't damage the printer, doesn't damage the labels. You can feed this uh, page through the printer uh, six or seven times, no problem. Okay, uh, that's it. That's how I do spine labels and book cards. I will have the, uh, a link to my files so that you can use the same file I do. Okay, bye now.